Let's have a look at an example of partial differentiation in a case where we have to apply the quotient rule. And you might recall generally from when just differentiating a function of one variable that if it's in the form u divided by v and we want to differentiate that, it's of the form v u dashed minus u v dashed all divided by v squared. And so when we apply this to partial derivatives for a function z, which is a function of x and y, in terms of function of x and y divided by another function of x and y, this is the form that we get. We get the partial derivative of z with respect to x is v times a partial derivative of u with respect to x minus u times a partial derivative of v with respect to x divided by v squared. So in other words, the main point is that this u dashed and v dashed become partial derivatives with respect to x. And similarly, the partial derivative of z with respect to y will become v times a partial derivative of u with respect to y minus u times partial derivative of v with respect to y divided by v squared. So let's apply these to an example. So in this example here, z equals 5x squared cos y over e to the 3x. Sure enough, that's of the form function of u in terms of x and y. Now if v here, e to the 3x is just in terms of x, but that's fine. The same thing will still work as long as one of those is a function of the two variables. So in this case, therefore, u is equal to 5x squared cos y and v on the denominator is e to the 3x. So let's start off by working out the partial derivative of z with respect to x. And in order to do that, we need to work out partial derivative of u with respect to x. So that'll be treating y as a constant. So that'll become 10x cos y. While v equals e to the 3x means partial derivative of v with respect to x is just going to become 3e e to the 3x. So applying our quotient rule to that then, let's see what happens. We're going to get partial derivative of z with respect to x is v, so e to the 3x times partial derivative of u with respect to x, so times 10x cos y minus u which is our 5x squared cos y times partial derivative of v with respect to x, so times 3e to the 3x, and that's all divided by v squared, which is e to the 3x squared. So that is going to simplify to become partial derivative of z with respect to x equals 10x e to the 3x cos y, minus 15x squared e to the 3x cos y and that's all going to be divided by e to the 3x all squared will just become e to the 6x. So now let's apply the same idea to finding dz dy, partial derivative of z with respect to y. So that means we need to find partial derivative of u with respect to y cos y will become negative sine y and that will still be multiplied by the 5x squared so that's negative 5x squared sine y while v equals e to the 3x if we work out partial derivative of v with respect to y since there are no y's in that that's just going to become zero so therefore working out partial derivative of z with respect to y that's v is e to the 3x day u day y, so multiplied by negative 5x squared sine y, and then minus u, which is 5x squared cos y, and multiplied by day v day y, so that's going to be times 0, and divided by v squared again is just going to be divided by e to the 3x squared. So therefore, we end up with partial derivative of z with respect to y equal to negative 5x squared e to the 3x sine y divided by e to the 6x since that last term being multiplied to 0 just disappears. 
So that's an example of partial differentiation which includes applying the quotient rule.